Hi, welcome to my channel. This is Kauser Weiss and this is the continuation video of replacement model. Already we have seen three videos related with this topic. You can find the playlist link in the description box. Now in this video we are going to see group replacement policy. Okay, I will tell you what is the meaning of group replacement policy along with the numerical problem. Now let's see the problem. See the problem. The failure rates of 1000 state bulbs in a colony are summarized in the following table. So here we have failure rates of state bulbs at the end of first month, second month, third month, fourth month, fifth month and sixth month. Okay, so this is the probability of failure to the date. And here they have given cumulative probability for each and every month separately. So we need to find out separately what is the probability at the end of first month, second month individually. For that, we need to find out the difference. The difference is called probability of each and every month, at the end of each and every month. Okay. In some problem, they will mention the probability directly. But here they have given cumulative. So we need to find out the difference in order to find out the probability for each and every month. I will show you the calculation later. Okay. And then the cost of replacing an individual bulb is rupees 25. Okay. If any one particular bulb fails, how much cost? Replacement cost 25 rupees. Okay. If all the bulbs are replaced simultaneously, it would cost rupees 6 per bulbs. Whether the bulb is in a good condition or failed, whatever may be, if you decide to replace all the thousand state bulbs simultaneously, then it would cost rupees 6 per bulbs. Okay. Any one of the following two options can be followed to replace the bulbs. So here we have two different options. The first one is individual replacement policy. That is replace the bulbs individually when they fail. The second one is group replacement policy. That is replace all the bulbs simultaneously at a fixed interval. You need to find out when you are going to replace all the bulbs simultaneously. That is called fixed intervals and also with the provision of replace the individual bulbs also as and when they fail in service during the fixed intervals. Okay, this is called as group replacement policy. With this information, they are asking us to find out the optimal replacement policy. That is individual replacement policy or group replacement policy. Now let's see the solution. See the solution. Before we calculate the individual replacement cost and group replacement cost, we need to do certain working notes. See the first working note. Number of bulbs in the colony. That is N0. N0 represent total number of bulbs in the colony. How many bulbs? 1000 bulbs. Okay. Let PI. PI refers to probability of failure during the 8th month. Here we have 6 months. No. And in this problem, they have given probability for each and every month cumulative figure. So we need to find out the probability for each and every month by simply comparing the current month with the previous month. Okay. For the first month, they have given 0 0.05. For the second month, they have given cumulative 0 0.20. No. Just compare with the previous month to find out the difference. So this is the second month probability. In the same way, third month, this is the cumulative they have given minus the previous month you will be getting 0 0.20 as a third month probability in the same way you can find out the probability for all the six months the total should be one okay so this is the first calculation in some problem they will provide the probability individual probability for each and every month in that case you need not do this calculation in this problem they have given cumulative that's why i have calculated probability for individual month okay now let's see the second calculation. See the working note 2. Let Ni be the number of bulbs replaced at the end of the each month. That is 8th month. Here we have 6 months. No. Okay. So N0 refers to 1000 bulbs we have replaced initially. Okay. And this is the probability of failure rate at the end of each and every month. With the help of the probability... We are going to find out how many number of bulbs need to replace at the end of each and every month. Okay. So N0 stands for total number of bulbs replaced in the beginning. 
Now, at the end of the first month, that is N1 refers to end of first month. What is the probability of failure? 0 0.05. Okay. So, how many number of bulbs we have replaced recently? 1000. Okay. Now, number of bulbs failed or number of bulbs replaced at the end of first month. 1000 into, what is the probability? 0 0.05. You will be getting 50 bulbs. Okay, this is the number of bulbs replaced at the end of the first month. Okay, in the same way, look at the second month calculation. At the end of the second month, okay, what is the probability for the total number of bulbs? 0.15. Okay, so N0, total number of bulbs, no. N0 into second month probability 0.15. Okay, so 1000 into 0.15. Plus N1, that is uh, the previous month we replaced 50 bulbs. For that, this particular 50 replaced bulb, N2 is the first month. We have replaced recently, that is one month before. Okay, for this particular 50 bulbs, this is the first month end. Okay, end of the first month, what is the probability of failure? 0 0.05. So, those calculations need to be added in order to find out the total number of bulbs need to replace at the end of the second month. Okay. So, add along with this. 50 into probability 0 0.05. What is the answer? 153 bulbs. Okay. So, this 50 bulbs, one month old, no. For that, we need to apply first month probability. Okay. So, this is the total number of bulbs need to replace at the end of the second month. Okay, in the same way, for the third month, end of the third month, what is the total probability of failure? 0 0.20. So, apply this probability for the total bulbs, N0. So, N0 is 1000, no. 1000 bulbs into third month probability of failure is 0 0.20. Plus, okay, so recently we have replaced 50 at the end of the first month. Okay. For this 50, one month, second month. This is the second month. What is the probability of failure for the second month? 0.15. So, apply this probability for the first month bulb, replaced bulb. So, N1 is 50 into second month probability 0.15 plus N2. That is the previous month, we have replaced 153 bulbs. For those bulbs, this is the first month. We have replaced one month before. So that for this 153, we need to calculate, we need to apply first month probability. End of the first month, what is the probability? 0 0.05. So apply this for 153. So N to 153 bulbs into first month probability 0 0.05. Okay, what is the answer? 215 bulbs. So, we need to replace 215 bulbs at the end of the third month. Okay. Now, for the fourth month, end of the fourth month, what is the total probability for the fourth month? 0 0.25. So, apply 0 0.25 for the total bulbs. 1000 into 0 0.25 plus for the first month, N1, 50, no. For this 50 bulbs, 1, 2, 3. This is the third month. What is the probability for third month failure? 0 0.20. No. So, apply 50 into probability of failure 0 0.20. Plus, at the end of second month, we have replaced 153 bulbs. Okay. For those bulbs, this is the second month. Okay. 1, 2. This is the second month. End of second month. What is the probability for second month? 0.15. So, 153 into 0 0.15. Okay. Plus... The previous month, N3. Okay, how many bulbs? 215. For those bulbs, this is the first month. We have replaced one month before, no. For that, we need to calculate and we need to apply probability of failure for the first month. Okay, so 215 into 0.05. Total, how many bulbs? 294 bulbs we need to replace at the end of the fourth month. In the same way, fifth month. What is the probability for 5th month for the total? 0 0.20. So, apply 0 0.20 for total bulbs. 1000 into 0 0.20 
plus for the first one end of the first month we have replaced 50 no for those 50 bulbs 1 2 3 4 this is the fourth month so what is the probability for failure for the fourth month 0 0.25 no so apply 0 0.25 for 50 50 into 0 0.25 plus 0 0.25 into 0 0.25 how many bulbs? 153. For 153, this is the third month. 1, 2, 3. Okay. Third month probability 0.20. So, 153 into 0 0.20 plus N3. Third month, we have replaced 215. No. So, 215. 1, 2. This is the second month. Second month probability 0.15. Plus the previous month. That is N4. 294 no so 294 for those bulbs this is the first month end of the first month what is the probability of failure 0 0.05 apply 0 0.05 so total at the end of the fifth month how many number of bulbs we need to replace 290 okay see the calculation of individual replacement cost okay so there is a formula to find out Cost of individual replacement. Okay, the formula is average number of failures per month into individual replacement cost per bulb. So, this individual replacement cost per bulb is given in the problem. So, we need to calculate average number of failures per month. So, what is the formula to find out average number of failures per month? Total bulbs divided by expected life of each bulb. So, how to calculate expected life of each bulb? Here, we have calculated probability of failure for each and every month. In the first working note, we have calculated probability of failure at the end of each and every month. Just multiply with each and every month and find out the total. This is the expected life of each bulb. Okay. Now, substitute this value in the formula to find out the average number of failures per month. So, how many in total number of bulbs? 1000. No. So, 1000 divided by expected life of each bulb, 3.85 months. Okay. So, what is the answer? 260. Okay. This is the average number of failures per month approximately. You can round up the figure. Okay. After finding this, now you can substitute this figure in the formula to find out the cost of individual replacement. Okay. See? 260 is the average number of failures per month. 260 into individual replacement cost per bulb. See the problem. See the problem. The cost of replacing an individual bulb is rupees 25. So apply 25. So individual replacement cost per bulb, how much? 25 rupees. Okay. So 260 into 25, what is the value? Rupees 6500. Okay, so this is the cost of individual replacement. Okay, in the same way we are going to calculate cost of uh, group replacement. Now let's see the second calculation. See the second calculation, determination of group replacement cost. Okay, here we have one tabular column, calculation of cost for preventive maintenance. The first column is end of month. So we have six months, no. So end of each and every month. Uh, Cost of replacing 1000 bulbs at a time. So, what is the cost per bulb if we replace simultaneously? That is group replacement. See the problem. Okay, how many straight bulbs? 1000. Okay, the individual bulb replacement cost how much? 25 rupees. Okay, group replacement cost per bulb is 6 rupees. Okay, now see the calculation. Okay, so the cost of replacing 1000 bulbs at a time. 6 rupees, no. So, 1000 into 6, 6000 rupees. So, this is the cost of group replacement. Okay. And the next column is cost of replacing bulbs individually during given replacement period. Okay. If we adopt group replacement policy, we have to spend the entire amount along with that. If there is any individual replacement occurs, even for that, you have to spend some extra money. Okay. For that, just refer working note number 2 to find out the total number of bulbs replaced at the end of each and every month. Okay. See the working note 2. We have calculated number of bulbs need to replace at the end of each and every month. 
So we need to consider these calculations. Okay. See the solution. If we replace uh, all the bulbs at the end of the first month, okay, what will be the extra cost for individual replacement? For the first month, end of the first month, how many number of bulbs we need to replace? 50 bulbs. Okay, 50 into individual replacement cost how much? 25 rupees. So 50 into 25, 1250. This will be the extra cost and this is the group replacement. So total 7250. That will be the total cost if we replace at the end of the first month. In the same way, if we replace at the end of the second month, what will be the total cost? Okay. See, we need to consider the cumulative value. First month 50. Second month we need to replace 153. So total bulbs into 25 rupees. This is the total additional cost for individual replacement. Okay. In the same way, we need to calculate for each and every month. End of each and every month. And this is the extra cost for individual replacement. After finding the individual replacement cost, then we need to find out the total cost. So how to calculate total cost? Group replacement plus individual replacement. Total is equal to total cost we need to incur. 6000 plus 1250, 7250. Okay, column 2 and column 3 we need to add in order to find out D. That is total cost. Next, 6000 plus 5075, you will be getting 11,075. Okay, at the end of third month, 6,000 plus 10,450. 16,450 is the total cost. At the end of fourth month, 6,000 plus 17,800, you will be getting 23,800. Next month, fifth month, 6,000 plus 25,000. 50. So, total 31,050. At the end of 6th month, 6,000 plus 32,550. So, total 38,550. And after finding the total cost, finally, we need to find out average cost per month. For that, just take the total divided by number of months. Okay, this is the first month. End of the first month, no. 7,250 divided by 1, you will be getting same, 7,250. For the second month, total 11,075 divided by 2. Second month, you will be getting 5,538 as average cost per month. In the same way, we need to find out the average cost per month. Thirty-eight thousand five fifty divided by 6. 6,425. So, this is the way to calculate average cost per month. So, after finding the average cost per month, we need to select the least value. 5,483. Okay. So, this is the minimum average cost. So, this cost occurs at the third month. End of third month. Okay. This is the minimum average cost. Cost occurs in the third month. Okay. So, this is the optimum replacement period. That is end of third month. Okay. So, the average cost per month how much? 5,483. Now, we need to compare two different policies. Okay. The first one, individual replacement policy and second one, group replacement policy. See the first calculation. Calculation of individual replacement cost. How much? 6,500. This is the cost of Individual replacement. Okay. In the second calculation, we have calculated average cost per month according to group replacement policy. What is the minimum value? 5,483. So, this value occurs at the end of third month. So, this is the optimal group replacement period. Third month and this is the minimum average cost per month according to group replacement policy. Now, compare these two figures in order to find out the best policy. So, which is the least value? 5,483 is the least value. That is a group replacement policy value. Hence, the group replacement policy is the best policy. Okay. So, this is the way to decide whether to apply individual replacement policy or group replacement policy. Hope you understand this concept. Please hit the like, comment, subscribe and share with your friends. Thank you.